Hey everyone, welcome to the Firebase Fire Store series. Today we're gonna set up a Firebase project with Next.js. So first we need a Next.js project. If you want to follow along with me, you can just clone this repo nextfire-yt. The link will be on the description and use the starter branch. And if you want to create a brand new Next.js project, then you can use NPX create next app to create a new project. But just make sure that you have used app router instead of pages router. So once you have cloned the repo, you need to create a new Firebase project. So in order to do that, just go to console.firebase.google.com and you need to create a new project. So I'll add new project and I'm going to give it a name, uh, next fire YT and ignore this warning. Let's continue. Um, we don't want analytics. Let's create a project and we need to wait. Okay, so our Firebase project is ready. Let's continue. So now we need to create a web app. So our project can have multiple applications. So we will use the web. So my app name will be NextFireYT. So register app. And now we need to install the package. But if you are using my repo, then you don't need to install the package. It is already installed but you need to store this Firebase config in your project. So just go to your repo. I'll create a new directory. I will call it config. And then I will create a file firebase.js. And here I will paste the copied code. I can just remove this comments. We don't need it. Now, this API keys, app ID, they are not secret. You should store these values on an environment variable because you're not going to use the same project, same database on locally and production. But I'm going to keep it as it is. And now we need to create a database variable. So on TV, we need to call get firestore function. And we need to pass the app. And the get firestore function will actually come from Firebase Firestore. And we need to export the DB variable. So export DB. And also we can export the app. So export default app. So that's it for the setup. Now we can run our application. So just type npm run dev. And we can go to localhost 3000. And this is our dummy app. So we will have this dummy site where there will be users and users will be able to add, read, delete posts. Though there won't be any user authentication or authorization. I'm just going to mimic the process. And by the way, the UI that you are seeing is actually made with Chakra UI. You don't have to use it. I used it because I don't want to deal with CSS here. But if you want to learn Chakra UI, I have a crash course you can check later. Now let me show you how you can create documents in the Firebase console. Just let's continue to console and then we can select Cloud Firestore. Let's create database. We can leave them as it is. Next. And we will use test mode since we are doing everything in local. So create. And now we have our database. We can start a collection. I'm going to create a new collection users and then you need to pass a document ID it's a unique identifier for document every document needs this and it has to be unique so I can just pass any kind of document ID or I can auto generate one then you need field which is actually the key and then the value so for key I can add name and the type is string but you can also add these data like number boolean array null q point references we will use references also and the value i'm gonna put my name then you can also add another field if you want but i don't now we have a new document if you want to delete it you can delete from here i will add another document so name and value will be like check and save now we have two documents 
one other thing I will do is that I will copy this unique ID. I will open up the console and go to application and cookies. I will store the user ID in a cookie. Now storing the user ID in the cookie, we can mimic the authentication step. So with this user ID from cookie, we can say that this user is logged in. However, you are not going to do this in production. In production, you're going to store some kind of token and you're extracting the user ID from that token. So that's it for today. Uh, we have successfully set up a Firebase project with Next.js. In the next video, we're going to learn how to add a new document to your Firestore database using server component and server actions. So until then, stay safe. Goodbye. Thank you.